Hello and welcome to this film, Portals and Gateways. You may ask yourself, what is a portal? It is likely that you do not realise that unknowingly you are using a form of portal every time you start up your computer. The search engine in a computer is a form of portal that provides links to access websites. In science fiction and fantasy, the word portal is generally referred to as technical or magical, that is often an elaborate doorway that connects two distant locations that are separated by space-time. Esoterically speaking, a portal can be used as an entrance point to different locations such as other worlds like planets. The gateway represents the beginning of a transition from one place to another that provides access to a point or a region by creating an opening or entrance point. You may have heard of the term Keeper of a Gateway. Gateway Keepers are guardians that prevent any negative energy from entering a sacred place that lies beyond the entrance of a gateway. My personal experiences with portals and gateways are a reality that I have experienced and used in different ways. For example, gateways have taken me to other worlds in this universe and beyond. It may also be that I need to follow something that is taking me that way. One of my portal experiences. On one occasion I was visiting Stonehenge in 1993, which was when Stonehenge was in its natural habitat, free of fences, etc. I found a strong, positive magnetic spot to sit on and meditate, which I felt was a gateway. Within a few minutes, a powerful spirit appeared before me with greetings and said that he was a guardian, a gatekeeper of Stonehenge. He said that he had overlooked the construction of Stonehenge because the people of the four nations, England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland, were ready to raise their consciousness. In the next instant, I was standing in the centre of the circle of the newly erected Stonehenge. Alongside me were eight chosen leaders of the four nations of Britain. The Guardian then summoned a portal that immediately appeared before us, which was a large elaborate circle of light through which I could see the universe, which immediately drew us into it. In milliseconds we were on another planet and were being greeted by beings 
but were, in many ways, similar to us. Each of the eight leaders was greeted by a leader of the planet we were on, and each was led off to receive guidance and counselling. I stood by the Guardian until the eight leaders of the four nations returned with their leaders. There was great joy and love being shared between all, which was followed by a period of music and dance. Then the moment of return came and we were back at Stonehenge, alongside a gatekeeper. He said to me, now you know the reason why Stonehenge was built and as you can see the traditions of the Four Nation people have expanded beyond pagan rituals. I thanked him for the loving guidance he gave and I opened my eyes and came back out of my meditation. One of my gateway experiences was when a woman called Maggie rang me saying that she was being disturbed by something negative in the house that had recently started. We arranged a meeting that afternoon and when I got there I knocked on her door and immediately I heard some dogs barking. As the door opened, Maggie appeared. I looked at the two dogs and asked Maggie to put them in another room before I came in. With the dogs in an upstairs room, I focused on Maggie and asked her when the disturbances had begun. She replied in the last week. Before that, Everything was fine. I then tuned into where the disturbances were emanating from, which I felt was in an upstairs room. I asked Maggie to remain where she was sitting, and I lit a candle that was next to her, and asked her to remain as calm as possible. With another candle in my hand, I made my way up the stairs and past the room where the dogs were in. One was still scratching the door in an attempt to get out. I entered the room where I felt the disturbances were emanating from, in which there was a stubble bed and a window. I then took a chair and placed it about 10 feet in front of the window and placed the candle on a small bedside table. I started to tune into what was there and saw that there was an abstract gateway covering the window. Immediately, a dark negative energy appeared on my right side and started to attack me by pressing my head with a vice-like grip. I remained focused on the light that I was holding as the pressure continued to grow, which went away and returned again with greater force. But I knew within that it would not be able to sustain the pressure in my head for much longer. Then, on the third attempt, the energy weakened, which was when it flew through the gateway, with me in pursuit.
it tried to change its identity and hide in different parts of the universe, but I told it that there was no hiding place in the universe where I could not see it. Then I held it in the light to transform it, which happened in an instant. I returned through the gateway and closed it to prevent it being used again. I made my way back down the stairs and noticed the dogs were quiet. I sat with Maggie for some time to help her become accustomed to the peace that was there and said, you can relax now, the house feels good, all is well. Three days later, I bumped into Maggie whilst shopping and asked her how was the house feeling now. She said the house was once again peaceful, but that something strange had happened to one of the dogs. The morning after I had been there, the young dog turned around on the kitchen floor, as they do sometimes, and died. I asked her, where did you get the dog from? Oh, she said, from a kennel that sells second-hand dogs. I then knew that the dark force had possessed the dog in order to gain access to the house. And after I had transformed the dark force, the dog had no purpose which is why it died. I then said to her, I feel that the house is now clear and that there will be no more disturbances. Two years later, we again met and she confirmed that the house was still a peaceful place to live. The review. Portals and gateways have similar functions in many respects, but the main purpose of a portal is to instantly transport you from one dimension to another. On the other hand, a gateway gives access to a specific place or region that has been chosen to access. I thank you for watching and listening to this video. Peace, love and light, Ralph Jenkins.